um, like the like the hole in your bathtub. And uh, what happens is that the, the plastic concentrates there and doesn't go away by itself. When I was 16 years old, I was scuba diving in Greece and I looked around me and I suddenly realized I saw more plastic bags than fish. And I thought, why don't we clean this up? After a year of putting different ideas together, taking them apart in my head, um, I came up with this, this very simple idea, which was that instead of going after the plastic, which would take you know, tens of thousands of years and tens of billions of dollars to, to complete, uh, I would let the plastic come to me by using the natural currents to our advantage, basically allowing the oceans to, to clean itself. So there's really three reasons why we should make sure that the oceans aren't polluted with plastic. Uh, the first one is that there's over 200 species currently threatened with extinction because of plastic pollution. Also, it costs a lot of money to clean beaches, uh, the loss of productivity of, of, of shipping, uh, of uh, fishing, uh, about $13 billion per year, according to the United Nations. So it's, it's definitely cheaper to clean up than to leave it in the ocean. And also, uh, these small pieces of plastic, they end up in the food chain. Uh, fish eat them, chemicals attach to that plastic, and therefore those chemicals also end up with, with us humans. So it's also a potential health threat. What we've developed are, is, is, a, is a fleet of systems that are all um, sort of U-shaped floating barriers, which act like a funnel, concentrating the plastic first before we take it out. Um, and what we do is that um, sort of the deeper in the ocean you go, uh, the slower the current gets. So at the surface, the water is moving fast, and the deeper you go, the slower it moves. And um, the, we are actually using that to our advantage by suspending an anchor in this deeper water layer. That anchor is attached to this U-shaped barrier at the surface, and this slows down the system just enough so that the plastic uh, is moving faster than the cleanup system, and that way uh, the cleanup system and the plastic meets, and that way we can capture the plastic. So it's really using the natural ocean currents in our advantage. So in 2018, we start with the cleanup of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, uh, which is the largest concentration of plastic in the world. Um, so we first deploy one. If that goes well, then we expand to a whole fleet of 50, 60 of these cleanup systems. Then we, um, we would scale up to the other four garbage patches in the world. There are five of them in total. Um, and probably at some point in time, we would also look at developing spin-off systems to, for example, deploy in river mouths to intercept plastic before it reaches the oceans. Um, I think those two things combined will eventually uh, can have a sort of a dramatic reduction in, in the concentration of plastic and then you know, somewhere between 2040, 2050, I'm confident that the oceans can be completely clean again.